what's up everyone, this is K with Skywolf Game Studios. I know it's been a while, so I thought I would go ahead and make a new tutorial for you today. Just jamming out to that music, this is a cool little 3D uh, jithub thing. Speaking of which, that's exactly what we're jumping into today. So, <clears throat> previously I created this quick and painless easy source control for Unreal Engine 5. And today's video, we're going to expand on that just a little more to help you guys out. So that walks you through the step of creating a project for source control with GitHub. And let's go ahead and jump right here. But what if you have an existing project? How do you add that to GitHub? So go ahead and feel free to follow along. Um, let's see. So right here I have under documents and we go all the way down to Unreal Projects and this one's called My JIT Project. I'm just going to load that up just so you can see what's going on here right quick. This is just a little uh, test project. I'm testing out some Toonie shaders. Um, so here we are. We've got a house of trees uh, and landscape. So here we are. And so I made my project here. It's sorry, but it's not in GitHub yet. So how do we do this? What we want to do is go to uh, file, new repository, and we're going to call this my JIT project. Okay. And some, just, you can fill yours out however you like. Some JIT project info. It's like a, usually like a short little description or whatever it is, just so you can remember. It. Um, if you want to read me, you can. If you, I'm not going to do that. Uh, and make sure you set the JIT-ignore to Unreal Engine. Right here, it's going to ignore all those big files that are over the LFS limit. LFS is basically a large file system. You'll get a warning if any of the files, like a texture, for instance, is over 100 megabytes. That's what triggers it. <laughs> But as long as it's under that, um, you can use image um, compression to reduce that file size. And I don't worry about the um, license. So just go ahead and create it. And then go ahead and publish. <clears throat> it's going to ask you if you want to keep it private or public, uh, just for demonstration purposes, so you can see the project later. Uh, um, you know what, I'm going to keep this public actually, so you guys can actually go ahead and use this for free, how about that, surprise, uh, but anyways, uh, if you want, and we just go to publish. If you want it private, make sure you just keep that private. It's going to push it, and you're going to see your new project selected here. So, if we go to repository and view on GitHub, it should kick us to that. Here we are. Ta da! But there's nothing in it, it's just the JIGNOR and JIT Aperture Buttes. So, if we go back to GitHub, and I think it was, sorry, I have too many of these. Um, there we go, right click on the project, show an explorer, and right here there's nothing. So what we want to do is find that other folder, wherever we stored the original project under Unreal Engine. And just gather all these and let, otherwise if you nest it it'll be nested in that folder so what i do is i just copy these 
and then I just paste them in that same folder. And if you look back at your project over here, it should have updated with all those files. And the screen plus just means it's adding them. So well, let's just, what I do is I normally do clean starter project and a fresh starter project. Just a little note, God, I can't spell today, um, to work from. Okay, and this is just your title. That's your just your basic your your notes. Um, can be like one added uh, new project to added base sets demo map or something. However you want it, and then just go ahead and commit that. And it should take a little bit. It's just gathering all the files and everything. The first time is usually always takes the longest for the commit and then the push after that. Now it's going to take all those files and push them to the cloud into JIT. So now we wait. So um, here we are. So um, after that gets pushed, uh, you won't see anything here. But if you look at your history, it's going to have that clean starter project, your first commit when you created the project, then all your files and your notes. So now if we go back over here and look at the project and refresh the bridge. You should see all the folders and everything there. Ta-da! There we go. But anyway, so that's how that works. Um, do you have a Discord? You're more than welcome to join. I hope this helps. And let's see here. Yep. Um, but uh, that's how you publish new projects. Um, that you've created into and put them into GitHub. So you guys have a great day.